Hello. I'm just so happy there's snow. I want to show it, but I don't want to muss it up. So we're going to walk on the parts that are on cement. <laughs> this is really sticky snow, and the underneath is still warm because it was like in the 50s for a few days. Looks like nobody's come up to see the view. Or there would be footprints. Last night's driving. Ugh, last night's driving was terrifying, I tell you what. I, uh, I went on the bridge that's right over there. As I was crossing the river, well, there was an accident going the other way, and it kind of piled up, and it kind of came into the oncoming, and I just barely skirted by. I don't know how many inches I got away with, but it wasn't enough for comfort, that's for sure. So, I didn't sleep too well, honestly, after that. I always say, don't worry about the flowers. They're Dutch. They can handle it. Um, that kind of flower is the kind that are like Dutch bulbs. The only thing that'll mess them up typically is if, uh, if they're fully bloomed, it's only just the weight of the snow will knock them over. And that can make them fade a little faster because then um, the vascular system gets kind of messed up. But it, they're, they're still going to bloom at exactly the same time as they were going to if it hadn't snowed. So don't worry about your flowers. They're fine. Yeah. So, this is the garden under a blanket of snow. We've had a lot of thaw this this year. Um, like, uh, such like, uh, it was in the 50s for a good while. I've been fussing over trying to make the front look a little better. Oh, you saw I put in a compost and I used like a headboard to kind of <laughs> look like a visual blind. Uh, yeah, so <sighs> ever since something got into the coop and I was just left with the two birds, they've been living inside so it's mushroom blocks in there, which I don't know if they'll overwinter or not. They look like they're still healthy oyster mushrooms and one beach of mushroom block but I don't think I have the right food for beach mushrooms because who has beach wood just laying around you know so I think the oysters will be the ones that take um, I've only rarely seen any wine caps anymore and it's probably because I haven't gotten fresh chips in a few years um, I got a little mini chainsaw. I do have a legitimate chainsaw phobia, which is the dumbest thing ever. But, you know, I mean, we all got something that's stupid, right? Uh, but I did get a little mini chainsaw, like a six-inch one. And I'm hoping that I can use that electric chipper on parts of that hedge to kind of get that a little bit more back under control. And then maybe I can have the mushrooms again. Because it's not like they stopped coming at all. They just only come up where the wood is a little fresh. Is what they do. So. I still got a little bit of snow coming down. But at 8pm last night we got kind of like 4 or 6 inches all at once. And that really was a lot more than the city services could handle. I feel like we don't have the equipment to actually handle big snows anymore like we did when I was young. I wonder who this was. Bunny or something. Yeah. 
So, I don't know. It's still not exactly tidy looking, like, for example. But, it sure looks a lot nicer under a blanket of snow. Not as nice as it does when it's all bright and green. Something Howie taught me is uh, the snow brings nitrogen out of the atmosphere and puts it in the soil. So this is a nice last burst of fertilizer for the season. I think I need to take my bucket of wood ash my uncle gave me and put it back where the ground nuts are because the potassium I kept meaning to do that because the yellowing of the leaves it seems likely that might be it according to you guys so yeah that's today I tried to go skiing and I just ended up with glue of snow all over my skis and it was more like hiking with an extra three pounds on each foot so I turned back um, I've only got three hours of sleep last night so I'm actually thinking that I might try and go to bed early which is rare for me but I think on three hours of sleep for whatever reason I woke up middle of the night no reason I guess and um, then I'll be able to hopefully get everything ready the night before and just head out pretty early and really spend a day skiing because this is just as likely as not this could be the last snow of the year and often often it's somewhere within these few weeks where we get one big last hurrah and that's it so hoping to take at least some advantage of it but I didn't think the local snow was going to be this bad but I'm probably too tired to drive an hour out like pack up all the camping gear drive an hour out and then make all the smart decisions about how to stay warm and everything for winter camping, ah, it's unlikely to be the right idea. Let alone driving on the snow up in the mountain there after my experience last night. So I'm going to go tomorrow. That's my decision. So, All right. But uh, looking forward to seeing your comments if you got any. I uh, hope you're having a good February 17th of 2024. <laughs> Thanks so much for visiting the cliffside. Take care. Bye.